The issue of constantly updating Bible translations, I think, is fraught with problems, and I'll tell you why. There was a time when the Bible defined the English language. I mean, basically, English people spoke biblical language, uh, particularly Christian people. We, we spoke the language of the Bible. I would rather have the Bible set the language for the church than the culture set the language for the Bible. I just think we're missing a point here. When you chase the cultural nuances, when you chase the changing of languages, you're, you're chasing your tail uh, and you're letting the culture redefine the terms. I, I think we give up a lot when we do that. I think we would be better off to be very patient and wait a very long time before we change the Bible. Because now we're saying to people, oh, we didn't quite have it right. This introduces a confusing element. Look, it's confusing enough for Christian people to have so many translations. And then when you say every single word of God is inspired and every word is accurately to be translated in the English language, people are gonna say, well, why are there so many different translations? And it is a legitimate question. When you just keep proliferating that, I, I think you keep that question alive. Uh, so I, I think it would be much better if we would think about the fact that a translation of the Bible preached from the pulpit, poured into the lives of people over several generations. And in my case, I, I am in the, teaching the third generation of people out of the NAS. Their biblical language, their, their understanding even of the English language, but particularly our Christian vocabulary, comes out of the Bible. So we don't need to chase the culture in that sense to keep up with all the nuances. And I know that's a, that's a kind of a fine line. We don't want the Bible to be obscure and out of date. And I think we're far from that. In the case of the NAS, after 40 years of using the NAS, it is as relevant, as current, as consistent as it was 40 years ago. Nothing has caused me to think, boy, we need to change these words, we need to update that. I would rather let the Bible control the language of the church than have the culture control the language of the church and the Bible.